Welcome back. Well, finally, this hour, she was a Mouseketeer, a teen television star, and a survivor. Now she's a member of the Alhambra family. Facts of Life star Lisa Welshall is on stage this week in Jacksonville in a revised version of the Tony Award winning Butterflies Are Free. Even more exciting, she'll be playing opposite her own daughter, Clancy Cobble. Lisa and Clancy are here now in studio. It's a special treat, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So exciting to have you both in studio. I hope you're enjoying your visit to Jacksonville. So far, so good. Yeah. So far. We've been working off a lot, but we're going to be here for a while, so we We've had, had lots of recommendations. So That's great. And I, I looked at your Instagram and Twitter last night. I see you've already been to Clark's Fish Camp. Yes. And so where do we go from like there? Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we should open up the phones and people can call in and tell you where they think you need to visit while you're in Jacksonville. I would love Absolutely. that. Uh, it's 549 2937 to speak with Lisa Welshall and Clancy Cobble. Uh, I, first of all, I, I just have to say this. I, I You look exactly the same, Lisa, <laughs> as you looked on Facts of Life. It is truly incredible. You look amazing. Well, you both you do. Thank you so much. Thank and you. I'm so glad this is radio because nobody can actually <laughs> question that at this point. No, no, no. You, you, look, you look the same. Uh, you have an age today. Now, let's talk a little bit about the show. Uh, how, did, how did it come to pass that you both decided to do this, this show together? It was actually, uh, I was asked to do another show for them. And I said, yeah, it sounds great be fun and then the director called and said I've got another proposition for you what do you think about the show butterflies are free which I had never read so I watched the movie and of course the Goldie Con character uh-huh. is just I mean it's my daughter and so <laughs> I called the director and I said well I, this looks really great but could my daughter audition for the uh, young woman and he said yes, but she really has to audition because I've been burned before. And so uh, she, we put a, we filmed a, a little scene and sent it to him. He fell in love, and now he's just head over heels in love because she's fabulous. Excellent. You, so Mom. Clancy, tell me about your part. Well, it's the Goldie Hawn character. Is what it was in the movie. Uh, she's adorable. I want to be her in real life. Uh, she's super cute. Nineteen year old, free spirited little hippie, and moves in next door to a blind boy and changes everyone's lives she, she has a big impact on she people does. around her and lisa who do you play in the production i play the uh, young blind boy's overprotective mother oh. who is not too happy that this young woman's coming in and changing his life because <laughs> pretty much that's her whole life and so the, she has to change as well you must have had Clancy when you were 13 years old. I swear <laughs> to God. Now, well, how, you know how, how we are in the South. It's just <laughs> how old are you, Clancy? 22. 22. And mm-hmm. so, Lisa, you got your start uh, as a Mouseketeer when you were what? 12. 12 years old. Mm-hmm. But actually, I got my start in theater, in musical theater okay. in Fort Worth when I was eight. And so this is kind of coming back to my roots. I haven't done theater. I did a Peter Pan in, uh, at uh, Starlight Theater in Kansas City when I was 22. But other than that, I haven't done theater since I was a child. So this is really fun on so many levels. I would think it's fun to have that feedback from the live audience. Well, tomorrow night's our yeah. first preview night. Yeah, so you'll have that. So we'll see. And it's been kind of nerve wracking with rehearsals. It really, yeah, it, it, it's, it, it, it's, it, it, it's a complicated show. Well, it's yeah. not that. It's just been so long. I mean, it, yeah, they oh. say it's like riding a bike, but there's one thing when you ride a bike when you're a kid, and there's another thing when you ride a bike when you're a kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know, but you've always performed, and of course, many know you from The Facts of Life, uh, such a popular show. You were on that show for almost, I, I didn't realize this, Almost 10 years. Yeah, nine years. That's and right. then you went on and did Survivor. How did that come about and what was that like? Well, I took a little break in between there. Yeah, uh, raised some married, kids. Raised some kids. <laughs> and I'd been watching Survivor with the family the whole time. Loved it. I'm a big game player, very competitive. And so this was like the ultimate game. I'd always wanted to be on it, but it couldn't. I was homeschooling the kids and traveling and speaking. There came kind of a, a conjunction of a perfect storm that enabled me to have the time to go do the show. So I sent in an audition video and was cast. And you did really well. I did. Yes. I made it to the final you did. tribal council. What, so what's it like for you, Clancy? Do you hope to, are, are you already uh, in the business? Do, is, do you want to follow in Lisa's footsteps and I be do. an actress? Yeah, I just moved out to Los Angeles. Uh, I moved in with my mother and uh, I have an agent now. So this is actually my first professional job really? as an actress. I took a picture of my first check. It was very exciting. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so exciting. So you're both based in California now. Mm-hmm. and But you grew up in, in Texas, right? Yeah. Well, I was born in Los Angeles. We lived in Texas for about 10 years, and I just moved back out last year. Wow. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it 
I know that uh, as, as someone who has a strong faith, Hollywood can maybe not always be the easiest place. How do you balance that? Because you're an icon in the, in the Christian community. You really are. Well, um, you know what? I think you can find your pocket of community anywhere, and hopefully the biggest pocket is in your heart. So no matter where you are, there's just that solid sense of uh, the presence of God and the love of God. And so therefore, that can just flow out of you know of you wherever you are in whatever group you are, you find yourself. And so it really hasn't been, it doesn't matter where I am, really. And I'm amazed we're not getting calls. Uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, Lisa Welsh, you might remember her from The Facts of Life, Survivor, and more, is in studio now with her daughter, Clancy Cobble. They're performing at the Alhambra Theater's Butterflies Are Free, opening later this week. We want you to call us right now. Let us know where they should visit when they're in Jacksonville, 549-2937. Now, you went to Clark's Fish Camp. You we can did. Tell- so maybe that's well, why the calls aren't coming in, because <laughs> once you've been to Clark's Fish Camp... Where do you go from there, Tell really? You, give me your reactions. What did you think? Well, I'm a vegetarian, oh. so <laughs> it was a little overwhelming. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> but they have really, really tasty veggie pasta. <laughs> did you have any gator meat? Did you try that? We did. We had gator toes, gator tail. Oh, yes, man. we did. I mean, hey, I, I just figure... You know, you just need to just experience everything. And so I am I was just sad we didn't get any ostrich or <laughs> python. They've got it all there. They so do. what else is on your agenda while you're here? What else do you hope to do? Well, we're Evan. going to Disney World. You're going course. to Disney. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> and, you know, I, I guess we're waiting for call-ins to oh, tell us where we should go. Uh, or if you know what, if, if, if you, you can call and ask any question, I guess. But. Here we have Sandy Yay, in St. Augustine. Oh, lots us. of calls now. Sandy in St. Augustine. Hi, Sandy. Go ahead. Hey, Melissa. Oh, I'm so excited. Blair from Facts of Life. You were like the girl I wanted to be so bad. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> but you all have to come up to St. Augustine and you have to eat a collage. Okay, collage. Yeah, that's a great tip. Somebody Saint, taking notes here? Yeah. Okay. St. Augustine in general is worth the trip. It's beautiful. Okay. We'll uh, it. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's about a half hour down the road, maybe 40 minutes. The oldest city in the country, uh, the nation's oldest city, hundreds of years old. Beautiful. Very Spanish, French architect. Well, really more Spanish, but gorgeous. Um, it's about to celebrate its 450th year. And the calls are coming in so fast, it's going to take them just a second to get them in the queue. Uh, let's go now to Quish in Jacksonville. Quish, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I have a location for the two young ladies up there. Okay. A place in Five Points called Cozy Tea. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Is it like a tea room? Yes. Oh, I, I love walked by it. Afternoon I walked by tea. it and I thought, this is the place we need to go. Okay. Well, it is. is. It's like an old fashioned British. Yeah, that's a great idea. Thank it's, you. It's an old school British tea room. You know, you love can it. get tea and scones. Oh, and, my favorite. Yes. It's be- and, and, you know, uh, he raises a great point. Yeah. Just the five, po- you went, you've already been to five points. Yes, I, I saw a movie there. Oh, what'd you see? I saw Birdman. Oh, what would you think of it? Oh, my gosh. I just died. Enjoyed it? It was so good. All right. Donna in Riverside. Go ahead, Donna. You're on the air. Hi, Melissa. It's so exciting to hear from Lisa Winchell and her daughter. I uh, enjoy – I'm a big fan from Facts of Life and loved her on Survivor. Just a big fan from Survivor. And I want to invite you both to come to Riverside sometime. We have many different restaurants and – places to uh, eat and uh, have a drink or, or take walks in the parks. And I'm just going to uh, Twitter her and invite her over sometime. Please do. Yes, definitely. Send it to my Twitter. That'd be great. Uh, I noticed you were getting a lot of treats last night. Uh, at, and when did you – how long have you guys been in town? One just week. A, just a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, Eric in Jacksonville. Hey, Eric. Thanks for holding. Go ahead. Hello. Good morning. Yes, I had some suggestions to go to eat. Good. That's our favorite um, thing to do. <laughs> no, I know. Palm Valley Fish Camp. Uh, oh, another, another fish, fish camp. camp. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I great, do like a good food. hush puppy, so. And there you go. There great, you go. Great food. And then um, Taverna, which is in San Marco. Also a great suggestion. And also Bistro X. Yes, Bistro X is excellent. Okay. Yeah, all Mark, good are I... you making notes for me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks, Eric. Mary in San Marco. Hey, Mary. Yes. Go ahead, Mary. Um, yes, is it my turn? Yes, go ahead. 
Okay, she can't hear you because hear us because she had a radio up. But there you go, lots of calls this and is ideas. Great. You know this, wow. knew this is going to be such a and great for us. I know. Well, it's so exciting. Sweet. It's exciting to have you both. Enjoy your time in uh, several weeks to go see Butterflies Are Free with stars Lisa Welshell and her daughter Clancy Cobble. AlhambraJacks.com for tickets. The preview is tomorrow night, uh, and uh, I hope you really enjoy it. It's a pleasure. So nice to meet both of you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Again, that's alhambrajacks.com for tickets to Butterflies Are Free. And that's our show. Thanks to all of our guests and callers today. Our producer is Sean Birch. The show theme is composed and performed by the Jacksonville Symphony Orchestra's Piotr Chefchik. If you have feedback for us, we want to hear it. Emails to First Coast Connect at wjct.org. And make sure to catch our daily podcast. It's now up on iTunes.